after the barrel blank is threaded and chambered, we're ready to cut it to final length and crown the muzzle. Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. Let me show you how we do that. The finished length of our barrel needs to be 28 inches, so we need to shorten this one a bit. Apply a coat of layout fluid in the area to be cut. Then measure the length and scribe a line. A metal cutting bandsaw makes short work of cutting steel. Install the barrel in the lathe using a four jaw chuck. Once the barrel is centered, face off the muzzle down to the layout mark. The next step is to chamfer the outside edge of the muzzle. Custer's rifle had a fairly unique radius crown, so we grind the correct radius into a blank tool bit. Running the lathe at low speed, take your time cutting the crown. To clean things up, we'll start polishing the crown with 120 grit emery cloth, followed by 180 grit, and finishing it off with 220. The last thing you need to do is run a patch through the bore to clean out any chips. Well, that's how we cut a barrel to final length and give it a perfect crown. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and that's the way it is.